Hey y'all, Sean here, Game on Cards. Today I wanted to take a few minutes to go over a SDC sub about to send off to them. Um, I've got a stack here of about 10 to 12 cards that I'm looking at targeting a specific time here to send them. Um, you know, if you've been in the hobby at all for a while, you know as a seller, timing is everything. And uh, this is part of the reason why I'm, I'm hoping to uh, get some of these cards in, get a good grade, and then, um, you know, hopefully list them for, uh, for a little bit of a profit. So that's kind of the game plan here, and that's why I wanted to have a video and, and kind of share that with you guys today. So let's go ahead and um, get started and see if, uh, if it makes sense to send these cards in. All right, first up we have a red, white, and blue refractor prism rookie of Jonathan Taylor. I looked this one over pretty well, and um, it's it has a slight off-center, maybe you know 55-45 centering on left to right, but otherwise it's clean surfaces, edges. Um, this is one I picked up last year before he you know went off and had a you know fantastic year. Last year was the, uh, you know, basically the best running back in the league. So that's a good one to send in. Here I've got a Damian Harris 2019 Donruss Optic Bronze Refractor Auto. Uh, it's not serial numbered, but um, it does have a slight imperfection in the in the centering. It's probably 60/40 from left to right, maybe even 60/40 up and down. But um, I think it'll grade well. Everything else is real clean on this card. Surfaces, edges, corners all look good. So I think that's a good one to send in as well to SGC. And then next we have a 2019 Panini Contender Playoff. Um, this is a Miles Sanders playoff ticket parallel auto. Um, you can see the centering on these real easily by going off the bottom here where the white meets the colored on each side. You can tell it's really well centered. Uh, at least that's what I use to measure the centering on this specific um, product. And this one's a serial number to 49, so it's a really nice card. Um, everything looks good. That should be a good one to send in as well. Next, I have a 2019 Donruss Optic. This is the uh, Deontay Johnson Auto. Uh, I believe it's parallel. It's the autos on the, on these are numbered to 150. And uh, centering looks good. Surface looks good. Um, maybe a slight little buff mark that I couldn't get out um, on the surface on the top right or below the optic logo, but otherwise this card is in really good shape. Next, same year, you'll see a little bit of a trend here. I love the Donruss optic. So 2019 uh, Alexander Madison. Harrison. Uh, this is a red refractor to 99 auto. Um, really nice looking card. I don't see any flaws with this one. So uh, I'm really expecting to see a, a 10 back. Uh, you know, he's got a good chance to, to take over. Either if not in um, Minnesota, if not there, then um, somewhere else. And then we have a 2018 Donruss Optic Christian Kirk Red Auto Parallel, number to 50. Uh, you know, he's got a resurgence in his career now that he's moved on to Jacksonville. This card looks really sharp. Slight off center maybe, 60-40, uh, top bottom. But otherwise, um, expecting to see a good grade from this one. So good good candidate to send in. And the next one we have is 2019 Donruss Optic uh, Contenders Rookie Ticket of Nicole Hardman. Nicole Hardman is, uh, you know, has an opportunity. We don't know necessarily He's going to take advantage of his opportunity there in Kansas City. But uh, this card is well-centered, surface, corners, everything looks good. Again, you can tell by the, the edges on the bottom, and uh, centering looks, looks good. So this would be a good candidate to send in as well.
The next one is an Alvin Kamara from 2017 Donruss. It's a Golden uh, Gridiron Kings parallel number to 100. This is one I did a video on. I've been waiting to send this in when I once I got put together a stack of cards. So uh, I did a video uh, a month or two ago about you know cleaning up this card. It's not perfect by any means. It still has a little bit of edge wear, um, especially on the back. But uh, I do think it's good enough to get a a near mint or mint uh, grade. And then next we have a 2019 Donruss Optic Rookie of A.J. Brown. This is the green parallel, uh, the velo green velocity. Really sharp looking card. Edges, centering, all looks good on this one. Uh, you know, he's expected to do good things in Philly, so we'll see what happens. But uh, good card to send in, and, and again, the timing of these are important. So. Next card we have, and this is a little bit of a flyer, but it's a uh, 2016 Prism Refractor of Hunter Henry. Uh, they didn't, uh, he hasn't, hasn't done a whole lot yet <laughs> since he's moved over to uh, New England, but uh, if, in case he does, you know, he could be a touchdown machine there in the end zone. So, um, you know, kind of a flyer, but uh, could be a good play here in the near future. And then with this one, these are um, some Marquise Hollywood Brown cards that I'm considering sending in. One's an auto, one's a non. They're the red. Yeah, I'm considering the fact that you know he just uh, got criminal um, charged for uh, speeding, and um, he's also been battling some injuries. So I'm not really sure I'm going to send these in. So we'll see. And then. Um, the last one here is a Cortland Sutton that I got back from PSA that's a 7 and it is in crazy to consider this is a 7. This card is in awesome shape and uh, I'm going to send it over to SGC for a second opinion and see what uh, see what they have to say about it but uh, I think it could at least grade an 8 if not higher so that's the plan on sending this one in. I'm going to crack it and send it into SGC and uh, I'm expecting to see a, a higher grade. And then I've got a few others I'm looking at, but I need to take a closer look at under the, the light. And, um, you know, this, this Dalvin Cook rookie from um, uh, 2017 and the Brandon Ayuk rookie from 2020, um, hollow. But I do need to take a closer look at these, making sure that there's no surface issues. But in case one of the other ones, um, you know, I'm Still, still debating on how many I'm going to send in, but uh, I, th I think the important thing here is that you know the SGC right now is having, from what I've been hearing, about uh, one to two week turnaround time, and right before the kickoff of the football season, I think it's a great time to send these in, and that's why I'm sending in you know a bunch of football cards to them, in, in the hopes that I will get them back right when the season starts, and you know interest is at its highest. Thanks everybody.